Welcome back guys to the fourth LOA tutorial and in this tutorial I will explain what is LOA programming language I will explain more details about the language I will explain in fact data types and values so LOA is programming language it's ranked 23 in the world in 215 and this year I mean uh, it means in this year it's ranked 23 and it's dynamically typed language this is great news for us you may ask why because in other language programming language like Java we, we, we when we define a variable we said we, we define the type before it like that and a equal 15 something like that but in Lua in Lua we define it directly a equal 15 so each each variable carries its own type that's great news for us and uh, yeah I will take about I will talk about uh, variables type so let's start this is our script that we made in the last episode so yeah we create first a variable called a equal 15 this is a number oh I forget something yeah uh, a equal 15 this is a number yeah and this is the command this is how you do command command is uh, will not be executed in the compiler ra later when this script is executed so w this is to explain your code or something like that explain your code for other programs you may work with other programs with other developers so you need those commands to explain your code okay this is a number this is a number Okay. And this is string. String is a sequence of characters that make sentence or so or or uh, text something like that. This is a string. Let me do something like yeah. Let me variables type in Lua programming language uh, yeah uh, basically there is okay this those are two types number and string okay in Lua there is eight eight different variable type we have first number string table boolean uh, I will explain all of those boolean nil uh, function thread Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thread and user data. I will explain all of those. This is a number. It's clean. It may be from zero to whatever you want, or uh, from. Uh, this is a number. You know a number. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It can be um, fifteen minus ten. Anything you want. Five. This is a number. And this is string, it's sequence of characters. It may be hello there, it may be uh, hi, how are you? How are you? Yeah, this is, you know, or maybe just character like that. Okay, not problem about that. And uh, number string table, table is basically a package of, package of, uh, of variables it may contain a lot of variables type may contain high nine uh, high nine one 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 and uh, yeah you know two anything like that this is table it contain a lot of uh, this is a table 
this is a table so yeah uh, boolean boolean is boolean is uh, maybe true or false it may be true this is boolean one boolean one and boolean two it can be false just true or false true or false one uh, zero or one this is like binary language true or false zero or one yeah something like that this is boolean and oh basically nil is to delta variable if we have a here we can delta it to to delta this uh, variable from memory because variables hold memory ram memory memory so yeah to delta this from memory we should do a equal nil i will talk about variables in uh, the next episode uh, so this is basically nil to delta variable from memory uh, there is also function function we see it last episode in the last episode but I will explain more this is a function this is a function yeah this is a function it's a variable too that's that's great news it's a variable it can be a variable too uh, oh no let me change the name uh, okay this is a function and thread user data you well I will not explain thread I will explain user data user data is basically equal source or equal root oh this is provided by MTA so don't worry about that it you will not need that a lot uh, so yeah let me just boolean this is boolean and this is boolean 2 this is to delta variable from memory yeah and this is possible too why because Lua is a dynamically typed language so yeah that's great news so it will be easy to learn Lua but we will be the lesson the next lessons will be more complicated than that well we can try uh, can try to output those to chat box output chat box and we put a it will output 5 save uh, yeah there okay uh, restart my script Ah, let me start it. It's not just uh, started. Start my script, and yeah, we. F oh, what is that? Uh, nothing there. Oh yeah, it said. Uh, well, this is cause problems. Let me delete it. Oh uh, yeah, I think this is too weak. Well, well, no, not because it's uh, declared before, uh, after. So let's save and do a start start my script and yeah there is it said five let's to get a variable type wow wow yeah dude uh, to get a variable type just uh, just use the function type it will our it will return it will return the, uh, the variable type it will said number yeah let's try to restart my script yeah it's a number it's a number oh come on dude without okay can do the same here type hello oh uh, okay this first uh, part i will explain declaring variables next episode but uh, to make sure to make uh, things clear this is a variable uh variable name you can name it uh, anything you want so yeah it will said uh, string 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 oh no no yeah string and and so on you can try all of those yeah start my script uh, 
Oh, hi. Yeah, hi. It's output the variable. So, yeah, I think uh, you can try all of those alone uh, by yourself. But I think that is it for this week. See you. I'm gonna see you next time. Uh, and do not forget to do subscribe if you haven't yet. And do like uh, and uh, if you have any question post it below. I will reply. And uh, yeah, gonna see you next week.